Hi, everyone. I'm Jody Schwann, owner of Sioux Falls Business. Welcome to another edition of Talent Thursday. We really enjoy these conversations in partnership with our friends at the Sioux Falls Development Foundation. And if you have been watching, or if you're at all familiar with the community of Sioux Falls, I want to kick off today's edition by just saying that this is an amazing place to be in the nonprofit field. Um, we have just so many um, really incredible nonprofits making a huge difference every day in our community. And I'm excited by the chance to um, feature one of my favorites, frankly, today. Um, Denise, do you wanna go ahead and introduce our guest? Oh, absolutely, and one of my favorites too. So we're gonna have today, Teresa Pick. She is the Director of Human Resources for the Children's Home Society of South Dakota, which does great work in our community and across our state. So welcome, Teresa. Thank you, thank you for having me here today. You know, Teresa, I think people hear Children's Home Society and a, a few things probably come to mind, right? But your organization is broad, um, both Sioux Falls and statewide um, and varied. You, you perform a lot of different services. So um, maybe start by just giving us that high level look at what is Children's Home Society? Sure, sure. So I think um, an interesting thing that people don't know about Children's Home Society is that we have locations here in Sioux Falls, but we also have locations out in the Black Hills. And so um, we high level have six different programs that we have at Children's Home Society. Um, first off in our biggest program that we have is residential treatment. Um, which really focuses in on the kids that stay with us. They are with us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, 365 days a year. So we really work on developing them and working them through their healing process through therapy. Um, we also have school and education. So of course the kids are here with us all the time. They got to go to school. So they go to school on site here. Here in Sioux Falls, we also have a day school. So what that means is there is kids from the outside community um, that's surrounding such as Del Rapids, um, different communities around the, um, around the Sioux Falls here. Kids come in and they go to school here. Um, it's a little bit better um, atmosphere for them. So if they, you know, need to get out of the public school setting and more into a one-on-one -on -one type setting, we have smaller class sizes, which is really good. Um, so we have education here out in the Black Hills. We have residential treatment as well, as well as education. We don't have day school out there, but we're hopefully moving towards that direction soon. And then I think a really well-known program that we also have here in Sioux Falls is Children's Inn. So um, Children's Inn is expanding. It is our um, domestic violence shelter. Um, that really focuses on kids as well as women. We have um, male clients that come in too that need to seek out those services from a domestic uh, violence perspective. Um, another smaller program that we have that is expanding is our Bright Start program. So that has our nurses and those nurses go in home to women that are at risk for pregnancy. They stay with them from um, pregnancy through two years of two years old, the, the kids are um, before they leave them, but they try to work them through um, pregnancy and, and things like that. Um, we also do adoption and foster care. So that is a big program too um, that we have in our expanding. And then um, another little smaller program um, out in the Black Hills we have a little bit here is our child advocacy and prevention. So um, a lot of that in the Hills works with kids that have witnessed trauma or tough things in, in um, their family or their experiences. And so they work with our therapists here and those therapists might go to court and um, help advocate for them. And then also the prevention piece is they also work with you know police stations and um, different things like that to help advocate and help um, educate people on how to how to witness you know violence and abuse and things like that. So we have a I could talk forever on this, but we have a wide range of programs that we have, and it's just such a great a great place to be, and we we really strive to look to see what we can do for our community. Well, and point being, this is Talent Thursday, so if you've just listened to all of this, I asked <laughs> because to, to set it up to say hey, there are a lot of opportunities in this organization no matter what direction you might gravitate as far as service. 
Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we have teachers, we have nurses, we have residential youth counselors, therapists, um, and then you get in the admin side, you have accounting, HR, marketing, all those good things. So we have a wide range of, of different variety of positions. And, and one of the things is, is for all of the college students and their parents of college students, just know that the programs mm -hmm. that Teresa and her team are hiring from are really tremendous. They're very diverse mm -hmm. um, because they were literally looking for people that have you know, those, those experiences and, and really the compassion um, to deal with these kids, a lot of these kids, and, and it's just such extraordinary work. So it is a pleasure, you know. Well, and what we hear, one of the things that right. Denise does all the time is, you know, really for all career professionals, but certainly for our new grads and our early career professionals, they want to be in roles where they're making a difference and where they're connecting to their community. And my goodness, this is the place to be if that's you. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. If this is such a great place to connect with, you know, uh, what brought me here too to Children's Home Society is the mission. And a lot of people come here for the mission. You want to care for and help others um, just in a, a general sense, but also when they're the most vulnerable. So when, P, you know, the kids, the women, the families, the clients that we, we take in, they need help and they need us and you are there to provide that help and that support to them and there is nothing monetary wise that can compete with that when you're providing a service of helpfulness to another human so that is why a lot of us are here now that said you also have really made an investment in your people and i want to talk about this right because I mean, let's be honest, um, you don't get into nonprofits for the pay, right? In many cases, we right. know this. Mm -hmm. However, um, you have made a commitment to increasing pay and, and creating some really unique benefits. Um, and, and frankly, you're seeing results from that, right? Yes, absolutely. You know, that is one thing, like, like you said, Jody. you know, it's, it's a nonprofit. It's a small nonprofit. It's social work. You know, I, unfortunately, you're not going to come in here making millions of dollars a year, right? Um, but, but that's not why everybody comes into it. And so we really focus on um, what can we do for our staff. We know it's hard work. We know it's challenging both mentally and physically. And so what can we do to help support our employees? And so we just recently here at the beginning of July um, implemented a nobody here, whether you are, you know, depending upon what position you have, even interns, student teachers, um, nobody will make less than $20 an hour here. So that is our company minimum that nobody makes less than that. Um, in most sense, you will make more than $20 an hour because we do look at education and years of experience in any type of related field that you may have had before. We take that into consideration when coming here so that we can give you those years of service credit. So most, most of our employees are actually making more than $20 an hour. So that's one major thing we did. Um, we have tuition reimbursement. We have student loan assistance. It's a huge program. That's you know, you huge. come out of college, you've got those student loans, you just got your social work degree or master's degree in counseling, and you have all those student loans coming in. So CHS actually um, contributes a portion per month to your student loans and tuition reimbursement. Yeah, I wanna make sure that's fully understood. I remember Denise and I talking about this when you yeah. announced it because this was groundbreaking that yes, that you are going to get help paying off your student loans no matter what your degree is in, no matter where you went to college, if you join this team. Yep, absolutely. We, and it is for full-time and part-time staff as well. So, um, which is huge. And I know a lot of people, we just increased it. It used to be $150 per month. Now we increased it to $200 per month. So um, we get it. Those student loans are hard to pay off. So we want to do what we can to help support those. I mean, those we just uh, don't see that. I mean, especially yeah. for an organization of their size, locally based. And, and yeah. I think also in the nonprofit, I mean, yeah. they're a leader because they're coming out and they're saying, listen, we know, mm -hmm. and you guys know, you have a long history of, of being a great employer mm -hmm. with a great culture. Um, but as, as we look at those things that are going to drive so people can live and, and they can continue to be in organizations, you know, that's where some of these tangible things that you guys are doing are absolutely yielding the results um, and just increases, again, you know, the appreciation that your employees are feeling back, which is so important because they realize, you know, this organization is making an investment in me, really cares about me. And that is so important to all generations, but especially 
um, to this new generation that is in the workforce and going to be increasing their numbers, you know, generation C. So I love that. And it's been really fun to watch some of your talents find new opportunities within the organization. You have a, a great history of promoting from within, of, of offering people opportunities. What is available now? I mean, if someone is saying, I'm ready to make a move, I like the sounds of this organization, what kind of opportunities do you have? Absolutely. So um, the, the great thing is we have a wide range actually right now of opportunities out there. Um, you know, our, our biggest opportunity that we have right now is our residential youth counselor position. Um, that is a direct care position. So you're working directly with the kids, you're helping building those relationships, mentoring them, really you're outside playing on the playgrounds with them, playing ball with them, taking them to the zoo, those sort of things. Um, so we're really looking for residential youth counselors right now. That's always something what we will always need. Um, but we have teachers. I think what's, what we can't forget is we also have a school, right? year around school. So we okay. also, um, are looking for teachers specifically right now, we're looking for a middle school language arts teacher. Um, so we have teachers, we have a nursing position open too. So we have nursing here in administration. We have a controller position open in our finance department. Um, and therapists. So I think, like you said, Jody, what, what's been amazing is we do really like to see our employees move up in their career path. Um, we are doing whatever we can to really focus on what do you want to do as an employee? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? And what can we do to help you get there? Hopefully that is to stay with us along that course of that journey. Um, because we do have opportunity, um, to move people from a residential youth counselor, they go to school, get maybe their master's degree. We help pay for it as an organization to get that degree. And then we might have a therapist position open in which you can stay with our organization and move into that role. And then we have leadership positions that could open up too over the course of time. So then you could move forward into a leadership role after, after a while. Yeah, Denise, they're just doing so many things right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do it, and, 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 and if this is all, it's good to hear right? Because yeah. an organization that is as essential to our community and does so much good work um, for everyone, but our children and our women and our families. Yes. Um, I want to make sure I mentioned Children's Inn because that, what okay. an opportunity to work in a beautiful, brand new, um, just, you know, outstanding facility. And that looks like it's going to be done pretty soon. I'm excited yes. to go get an updated look at that. Yes. Yes. We are so excited for Children's Inn to open up. Um, it is going to be out here on 10th street on the empower campus and, um, it's going to be opening in November. So I just actually drove past it the other day and they have sliding on one half of the building, which is super exciting to see that there it's, it, there's a siding on the building. Um, we're excited for it to open right now. We're a children's in location, which is out on Western Avenue. We are actually at max capacity. We have, um, some of our staff that are moved out of their offices mm -hmm. and in, unfortunately in, you know, a little hole in the corner right. with a computer, just because we are maxed out. And so it is, um, it is a great thing that we're opening that building and I'm, you know, the good and the bad, I think we'll probably, you know, be max capacity there at least temporarily for a while. Um, but I think, you know, the good thing is, is it, it's there for people who need it. And we have such, such great staff that give their everything and um, are really dedicated to helping the clients that walk in those doors. And so it's just phenomenal to see. And we're super excited to have that building open. It's gonna be beautiful. We will give you a look, I promise. As soon as it's ready, yes. we'll prime <laughs> and be in there and we'll check it out. Um, if people would like to learn more about Children's Home Society, about the opportunities, where should we send them, Teresa? Absolutely. So I would go and check out our website, which is www.chssd.org. On that website, you can find all of our openings that we currently have. You can also find more information about the different programs that we offer here at Children's Home Society, um, as well as our history. We've been around for 129 years, and so you can read up on some history of, you know, where did we start? We started at an orphanage and we're here today. So it's got really rich culture and really hit rich history there. And so um, 
definitely check out the website. Otherwise, we also have a Facebook page and Instagram, all that good stuff that we try to keep all the information current and updated out there. Terrific. Denise, any closing thoughts uh, from you? No, I just want to thank Teresa and her team for everything that they do. It is such a pleasure. Um, their leader, Michelle, was on our Talent Workforce Committee, so we got a, a little bird's eye view to some of the stuff that was coming a year ago. So it's just so, so, I think, rewarding to hear. And at such a pivotal time, I think everybody's really paying more attention to, you know, the underserved and the people that have mental issues and domestic abuse and all of that. So good that we are seeing this kind of excitement. And, and I really think numbers as far as people that are interested in employment opportunities, because these are career journeys and they're lifelong journeys, and you're going to make a very meaningful difference. So thank you. Um, I do want to put a plug in for when. Um, yeah. So yes. Are so sure we you're have going to be there. You probably are, right? I'm sure you're a, a big fan of when. Yes. Yes. So let's get everybody registered because we have limited number of early bird tickets, right? And so once those tickets gone, they're gone. We increase the price. Um, we do have a couple other options if you want to attend virtually, but we are going to have, so for Teresa and her colleagues, you get nine professional development credits uh, for attending when. So just check us out. You can go to the Sioux Falls Development Foundation's website and under Town and Workforce, you can find when there or you can go directly to Eventbrite and look for Win in Workforce Summit 2022, and you'll find that information. This is the best value out there, guys. I was pricing out an unrelated conference somewhere else, and um, you're never going to get more value uh, for your registration than you are here. But do the early bird because it's even better. And the speakers, yeah. I already got my tickets. Like, <laughs> you signed up already. Nice good um but bring your team you know to um business leaders this is not just i go every year this is not just an hr thing okay anyone in leadership for your organization can benefit from coming to this and it helps to go back to work and kind of speak a common language so do it and and the speakers you know we always have these most wonderful experts in our community and really in our nation we have people from google and people from sanford and avera and so just so much exciting I think information, but also really tangible things that you can walk away, you can start doing. So, and how do they sign up for for when disease? Where do they go? Again, Eventbrite. Look for Win and Workforce Summit 2022. Okay, you can find actually you can go to SiouxFalls.business and search for it too. You'll find it because you've got to that's it. a lot easier than what you can I do that to readers. You, you're <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks again, Teresa. I agree. I echo it. Thank you for everything you and your team are doing um, for our community um, and for your for your workforce um, because uh, many organizations can learn a lot from you. So um, stay tuned for more. We enjoy working with Children's Home Society as well and, and enjoy sharing stories from them every month. So. Um, that is it for us this week. We'll be back next week, as far as I know, with another Talent Thursday. In the meantime, sign up for WIN. And thanks, Denise, for another great program. Absolutely. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much.